Well, sometimes with intense wildfires, we can get a tornado-like vortice, or a spinning column of air, in this case, fire, and we call it a fire tornado, or maybe you've heard a fire nado. Either way, they're really cool to see, but they have to be taken seriously, just like the wildfire itself. So how do they form? Well, we've got extreme heating at the surface due to the fire, and that air rapidly rises, and we have to replace that air. So we have something called a horizontal transport of air that also gets sucked up and rises into the atmosphere. Now, much like an ice skater brings their arms in closer, it allows them to spin faster. Same with the fire NATO. So we start to see that vorticity or that spin tighten up, and then it really gets spinning and looks like a tornado of fire. Now, they can spin counterclockwise or clockwise, depending on the winds in that area where the wildfire is. Keep it here at the Weather Network, and we'll take you every step of the way through Canadian wildfire season.